man, so god damn. It hasn't even been 24 hours and the character assassination has already started. It's already started. This, this may be like record time. And so what's going on? And yesterday I reported that Jonathan Majors was arrested for allegedly harming his girlfriend. And one part of the conversation that's going on is um people are believing it is his white girlfriend. And, you know, so many people are talking about so many different aspects of just that right there. I'm thinking if I'm going to touch on that. I may. If y'all want that, we may touch on that. But what's really going on here? that we're going to talk about today is people are starting to bring up things from his past and these people are pretty respected in the world that Jonathan Majors operates in so let's get into it man so we have this guy right here named Tim Nikolai now Tim Nikolai has now made his Twitter private because he's beginning some smoke he's beginning some smoke and y'all see um he's an actor director producer you see he works for Public Theater New York Shakespeare in DC CBS HBO Amazon like you know he's um pretty known Tim Nikolai is being followed by Marvel okay he's being followed by marvel and the significance of this is that you know marvel seemed like they were getting ready to you know form a dynasty around jonathan major's character kane but with these allegations this may be up in the air and with marvel following this dude right here that's really interesting that's really interesting now, after everything came out, Tim Nicolas said this right here on Twitter. He says, I'm just going to say this about Jonathan Majors and be done with it. Folks at Yale and the broader New York City community have known about him for years. He's a sociopath and abuser, and that is how virtually everyone speaks about him. It's a shame that it took this long for him to be reported. I'm already seeing a bunch of why didn't you do anything, folks. People have tried, ultimately needed a victim to come forward. It's both simultaneously awful to know he is still doing this and also a relief that he may never get to get to again a bunch of us are close with people and sometimes multiple people he has directly harmed i don't know if they will speak on him it is completely their decision probably gonna delete this when it turns into active harassment which is inevitable on here it won't matter i'm sure other folks are already verifying there's some more tweets that i seen before tim nicolai's page went private and people were challenging him and he said listen i, I spoke to these victims before i heard their stories and they're actually texting me right now if they want to come out they will come out speak on it just give it about a week that's what this guy's saying just give it about a week no in reference to him saying the broader new york city community he's speaking on the theater communities any reference to time between 2012 and 2017 to go ahead and give a, a range where these people you know knew each other and operated around each other now we're gonna get to what people were saying about tim nicolai but this is right here is really interesting too so so this says this person tweeted and deleted a month ago they confirmed it was about jonathan so um this was february 14th 2023 before things went crazy about Jonathan Major that we just found out, of course, yesterday. This person, A.B. Allen, that person's also in the um, Hollywood acting world. His person also works in that world. So they saying um, there is a particular actor, relatively new on the scene, who Twitter has violently fallen head over heels for, who is um, in actuality is a vicious, cruel, abusive human being, both professionally and in his personal life. And every new viral thirst tweeted by him drives me insane. And this person says, now we know who this tweet was about. And the person says, ding, 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 ding. Confirming that they were speaking about Jonathan Major. Now, some more tweets. The person says, um, if it had happened to me or had seen it directly, I would have. But the people he has abused, mistreated, chose to stay silent, perhaps for their own safety. It is not my role to out what he did and thereby out them without their consent. This person continues to say the specifics of what I know, unfortunately, would still expose people who have been hurt and deserve to not become part of some larger media inquiry if they don't want to so i'm not going to get into the details but now y'all know what his deal is so listen all i can say is jonathan majors has pissed some people off on his um road to where he's at right now and they found an opportunity to go ahead and pile on but let's see some reactions so this person right here says tim nicolai made his account private because he knew he was going to get dragged across twitter where was that um reveal about jonathan majors when he was climbing the hollywood ladder wait and see before you jump the gun if he's guilty he's guilty if not be quiet and no i'm not defending him but i'm also not going to get on the bandwagon and start pointing fingers before i get the entire story i have to, um i have a lot to say about this but i'll keep that amongst friends if you know you know this person says, uh, so the Twitter equivalent of, I heard he was terrible when he was younger. I know people, this is lazy collective black disapproval if y'all think for one minute i'm about to denounce this black man based off what jealousy uh, facially challenged karen alleges you're crazy innocent until proven guilty is not popular on twitter but it is to me 
And fuck you, Tim Nikolai, for that horrendous tweet. Okay? So odd timing, not saying it's untrue. Just interested timing to say all this. Not during Lovecraft Country. Not during How Do They Fall. Not during Ant-Man interviews. Not during Creed 3. Not during the Oscars. But now, um, I would expect it to have seen rumors or even whispers somewhere, anywhere over the years because people talk. The fact that there was nothing coming from these multiple other victims and that we hear it from a white man first as hearsay is odd. Uh, and um, it doesn't make it untrue though all right so what well if he hadn't have beaten a woman from the point of putting her in the hospital it wouldn't be coming out now all right perhaps because he just got arrested um for assaulting women so it's relevant i hope this helps so you know alleged so these are people going back and forth so let's get through some more tweets so this lady says oh look white america doing what they do best this lady responds saying oh look dark-skinned black woman defending jonathan majors and they're not even his preference laughing man listen black men be having y'all out here looking stank and stupid we know you're a white person behind this count uh listen you already see that name y'all know they get down just as bad as the kkk on twitter you know they do the work of the kkk on twitter these folks like this with these type of accounts <laughs> So it may not be a white person, but she continued to respond to Nikolai saying, y'all always know these folks. This shit has happened too. The playbook literally never changes when it comes to stories like this. This lady says, honey, it's time to put the cape down. We have zero facts on the case. And if anything, this person is just warning that there could be more victims to come forward. They're making this a black versus white thing when it's strictly domestic so far. Let's not take it too far too soon. So um yeah man um that's why i'm pretty much on it myself but i still want to just you know just observe how they, people receive this information because we've seen so many different cases in the past and i'm wondering if people are growing and becoming more you know better when it comes to approaching these sensitive topics you got one situation where two people could possibly be victims one person possibly is um a victim of domestic violence another person is possibly being a victim of being lied on about domestic violence and in both ways when it comes to me just personally just covering a situation like this i want to be sensitive to everyone that's experienced both ends of the spectrum so all I could do is um, just gather information, see things come across. But as I've seen these things play out, I can't choose a side right now. One, because I know women lie. And two, I know niggas are crazy. <laughs> so I've seen you both. I've seen some blind ass women. I've seen some crazy ass niggas. And somebody said something to me that was real important in the past video that um, I was covering. It was a black woman as well. It was a situation with um, Tori and Megan. And I'm not going to get into the back and forth as far as that. Based on what I was saying, the woman can tell that I was sincere in the way that I was covering the situation. But she told me straight up, listen, just because you as a man, a black man, wouldn't do certain things, don't mean that the next individual isn't capable of doing these things that you would never do. So with that being said, when it comes to covering these celebrities, we don't know these people. We don't. And yeah, I don't feel like it's too much for me to ask for to hope that everyone receives the benefit of doubt when it comes to these situations, you know? But everyone in the world is not perfect like us, so we have to leave room for the facts, the true facts to come out before we pass judgment on certain situations. So that's all I'll say right there, man. Once again, I hope none of this stuff is true because that man was on fire. But if it is true, God damn, God damn. Men all around, once again, dog, two things you got to control is controlling yourself and controlling people that's around you. Your relationship with your woman can either make you or break you. All right? Operate carefully in your love life. I'm going to go and sign out. It's your boy, Stacy. Yo. Yo.